Hello there everybody, it is me Fuser Bunny, and welcome back to episode 13 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. Lucky number 13 you guys, so this is exactly where we left off. We are currently at the coffee shop here in Windenburg, and I actually read your guys' comments, um, and in the previous episode that I posted about a week ago or two weeks ago, um, we discovered that our prospective boyfriend is unfortunately a minor he is a teenager so i actually looked around town for some potential you know uh relationships for um callum here and i actually found someone that might be really interesting uh he is the roommate of joaquin here joaquin lachan and um he is a member of the uh paragons i believe so we're gonna go ahead and pull out a limb here and have callum actually join another club and okay these notifications are kind of messing up my game okay so anyway we're gonna have callum join his second club so currently we are a member of the good timers and we can we still have the option to join or create two more clubs so we i believe we have a maximum of three clubs that we can join um so the paragons we're gonna join it just because one of their members is kind of really interesting and i kind of want to develop his relationship with callum so paragons it takes work to look this good perfection isn't easy but everyone needs someone to look up to that's why we have the paragons Ooh, the shade that is so feisty. Okay, so this is the guy I'm talking about. His name is Sergio. What's his last name? I forgot. But yeah, he's he's the only guy member of the Paragon. So I think he could definitely benefit from another male member. And the requirements for an invitation is... I don't know. I don't think there's any requirements. So we're going to go ahead and actually apply for an invite okay siobhan fires hi column i heard you were interested in joining the paragons come hang come hang out with us if you impress us you can ask us to apply okay and let's take it we're all going to bath the real the pool is the best way to spend a hot summer day meet you there uh, okay, so yes, I'll be right there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So starting a club gathering. Ooh, looks like everybody is wearing their swimwear. How interesting. Okay, so we're going to go and change our outfit into our um swimwear so we can kind of <laughs> blend in. And we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to everybody here. Look at Sergio. He is so, he's so hot, you guys. Like, he is so hot. Like, look at that. Like, whoa. He's kind of thin, though, but whatever. And what's his last name? Sergio, um, Romeo. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And of course, Jace has to be here. Jace is another character from my recently concluded um, Let's Play on The Sims 4 Get to Work. So, Look at that bod. Oh my goodness, Jace. Okay, so I, I kind of want Sergio and Caleb to really hit it off. And okay, so first things first, we're gonna try to introduce ourselves to all the club members. I feel like I'm actually gonna like the Paragons more than the Good Timers just because they seem like they're our age. And I don't know, they seem pretty interesting. Okay, so we are going to um, just, you know, just hang out with people. I love how we're literally outside. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't leave. We still want to talk to you. Okay, so we are going to give her, get to know her. I think it's very important to kind of be close to the president of the club because uh, discuss work. Okay, come on. I feel like she's getting away. Okay, she's coming to us. I love how literally Callum isn't moving anywhere. Um, goof around, and hopefully she has a sense of humor. And we're gonna gossip, of course. We're gonna catch up on the latest news in town. Oh no, someone's inviting us to another gathering. Uh-oh. Talk about Paragons, of course. And we are going to... Oh no! Uh-oh, okay. Tell a funny story, and then we're gonna try to get to know her. 
Forty photos of Bab. And um, <laughs> we are also going to <laughs> discuss interests with her as well. Hopefully, this relationship bar is high enough. Like, look at this place, by the way. This is our first time here. I've seen this in many people's Let's Plays already, but um, it's so beautiful. Like, whoa. Like, just beautiful. And I also appreciate how the pool is, like, so gigantic. Like, yes. Yes. Okay, so where's the other people? Okay, the guys are over here. <gasps> no! It looks like... Oh, no. Oh, no. They're inside their secret room. I don't think we can enter it. I don't think we can. Can we? And I'm... And you guys remind me to change Callum's clothes and outfits into pink because, uh, yeah, he kind of doesn't matter. No, we can't come in. Attempt secret knock? Can we call him over? Do we have that option? No! He's inside. This is depressing. Callum is not allowed to enter the door. Come on, guys, let me in. Or at least come outside. Oh my gosh, this is kind of an epic fail. <laughs> like, really? You know what? Okay. I think if we ask her... Where is she? If we can join... Um, talk about the Paragons. And then let's ask her to let us join the club and see if it works and let's apply to paragons hopefully she agrees because if she doesn't it's gonna be pretty sad i'm the leader of the paragons i think it's great sure of course you have to say that are we in okay looks like she is accepting it Yay! Congratulations! Callum was accepted into the Paragons! I'm so happy! Yay! Which means that we can actually get into their secret space over here. Yes! Yes, okay. And of course we need to befriend Sergio. Are we just waiting for him? Oh my god, the suave! Can we take a picture? Uh get to know him and come on i want you guys to talk and we are going to do an impression and more choices funny goof around and um gossip with him and of course we're gonna try to get to know him and ask him about his interests as well does he have a career? Ask about career. And you know what, you guys? We're gonna- Oh my gosh, girl, that totally does not match the identity of the Paragons. Like, seriously, ask him if he's single. Oh my gosh. That was like a total grunge outfit. Please tell me he's single. Please tell me he's into boys. Literally my life. <laughs> I wish. Oh my gosh, I love that song. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with My Life is Ava. Like, seriously, though. I watch it all the time with my friends. And we, we're like, we wish we were her. Okay, anyway. And we are going to um, just tell a couple of jokes to him as well. Callum learned that Sergio is a tech guru at the Rainy Day Entertainment. And I'm seeing someone. No. I'm depressed now. Okay. Um, give him a heartfelt compliment and brighten his day. You guys, he's with someone. Like, what are we going to do? Oh, no. Deep conversation with him. I'm depressed. Like, it's never, like, it never works out for us. Like, seriously, it's so hard to, who does he, who is he with? I want to know. <laughs> I kind of want to know. Okay, you know what? Let's get to know him a little bit more. And kind of see what other uh, traits he has. More choices and oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Everybody at home is gonna take care of themselves. 
There we go. More choices and uh. Okay, everybody's like, yes. That pink is looking so good on you, girl. Yes, it does. And a couple more interactions with our fellow club members, and then we can probably call it a day. We should totally know who Sergio is dating, because I want to snatch him for Callum. I feel like they would make a really, really good couple. And we also have work tomorrow, so... Oh no, we don't. Whoa, that, that's almost a cute outfit. I kind of like these two colors together, plus the shoes, but there's just a really weird space over here on the side. You can kind of pretend that that's a peplum, so let's just pretend that that's a peplum. Okay, you know what, you guys? I feel like it's late enough. I think we've spent quite a lot of time um, outside of our house. So we're going to go ahead and travel back home, and I will see you guys when we get there in just a second. All right, all right, all right. We are back home, and what is this kid doing outside our house? Creepy kid. You should get home. It's dark. It's, it's getting dark. It's getting late. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. It's so cute. That is adorable. Uh, yeah, Duncan is cleaning the shower. And by the way, we're gonna go ahead and actually send a text to Sergio. Uh, send an energized text. <laughs> like, literally, we're so freaking obvious, but whatever, it, it works. Okay. And, of course, she breaks the damn computer. Sheesh. Girl, Jesse, girl, uh, y'all need to do something about that, okay? So, we are going to uh, have Duncan actually fix the computer if he can repair that. And then, ooh, someone's calling us. Who could this be? Oh no, it's over. Come on. Okay, so we're gonna use the toilet really quickly. And also, we're gonna eat. Oh, do we have any food left over? Okay, we have some. Grab a serving of that. I wish we had a faster way of getting leftovers because that's one thing that really bothered me when The Sims 4 first came out. Like, it takes forever. Like, how many clicks do I have to go do until I get, like, you know, my leftovers? Like, in The Sims 3, we can just get, get leftovers, and that's pretty much it. Over here, we have to click on the fridge, click on open, click on the item, and then click grab a serving. It takes four clicks. Are you kidding me? Okay, and you know what? Jesty yeah. is going to do something about this. <laughs> about this, cause um, I don't know this flower thing. It's always dirty. <laughs> I don't know where it's going with that. Dude, put on a shirt. Okay, she's gonna watch uh some romance, of course. And how is he doing with his repairs? Who has work tomorrow? Uh, no, nobody has work tomorrow. So, you know what, you guys? We might th try to throw another party, you know? Why not? Let's. We should probably make, like, a party house. Like, where's that smoke coming from? That was really weird. Okay. And we're gonna throw this away. He's dazed? No! He was electrocuted! Oh my goodness. Seriously fried. Ooh, yeah. Uh, from being electrocuted, that was a close call. It really shouldn't mess with any electronics for a while. Uh-oh, that's kind of creepy. Um, so, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, what else does he need to do? You know what? Let's increase his programming skill. Or maybe his video gaming skill. Uh, programming. Yeah, let's have him do his programming skill so that he can um, have an easier time. Uh, mod game. Ooh. Hack. Nope, nope. Make a plugin? Hmm, maybe. Hopefully, this isn't like a virus or something. Yes, guys. Talk it out. Y'all go ahead and chit chat. Okay, so it looks like everybody is feeling fine. We should really buy a kitchen sink. 
Yeah, we're gonna go and do that. Oh, I feel like there's no place to put a sink. You know what? We're pre we're buying a sink. Just the cheapest one, you know? Go ahead and go to kitchen. I think we can afford- yeah, it's fine. We can stretch out our money for a little bit and afford the sink. Because everybody keeps, like, going to the... Yeah, let's just get this one. We don't really care about how it looks like. Can we make this thing white? Yeah, let's make it white. And you know what? These cabinets are giving me a little bit of a claustrophobic moment. So I'm going to raise them up just like that. Cool beans. Okay, that's okay. Looks pretty fine. Oh my gosh. I was trying to say fine and fancy at once. And it came out as fan, so... Whatever. Whatever. Okay, he's gonna sleep and have sweet dreams about his... Um, no, 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 that's not your bed. Sweet dreams about his newly found future love interest. Um, so that's gonna be pretty exciting to um, look forward to. And you know what, Duncan is still dazed. We should probably keep him away from any electronics, but we're gonna speed things up a little bit. And I'm gonna let him stop when it's 11 p.m. Okay, there we go. So it's 11. I'm gonna go ahead and send all the sims to sleep and I will cut and I will see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, we are back and it is a lovely early morning here in Windsenburg. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna wake Jesse up and she's gonna cook breakfast for everyone. Uh, we are going to serve breakfast and we're gonna have some eggs and toast. I always have this problem of not having enough food for my sims, so um, I think it's great to um, prepare for that. And also, I want Duncan to upgrade some of our um, plumbing equipment, just because they keep breaking a lot, like seriously. I love how she like um, just shoves the, the eggs, you know, she just shoves the eggs into the frying pan. She didn't even break the shell. Oh no! I hope she doesn't burn it. I mean, I don't think you can burn the <laughs> the house in The Sims 4. Or can you? I'm not sure. Maybe you can. I feel- You know what? I take it back. I think you can burn the house. Um, I feel like you can burn the house. Yeah, I think you can, but it doesn't happen that often. Um, and the reason why I know that you can burn the house is that we have some sprinklers that are available. Come to think of it, I've never burned a house. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. Oh no, get away, get away, get away. No, no, Jesse, no. No, save her. Save her. No. Oh my gosh, don't just freak out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my god, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, she survived. Holy fuck, holy fuck. Holy freaking crap. Holy freaking crap. I was literally just gonna say that it's it, it has like I've never experienced a fire in forever in my game and then the damn fire starts holy crap I was so scared you guys I was so terrified I felt like Jesse was gonna die I literally feel like she was gonna burn to death holy freaking crap Well, at least um, the, the romance between Jesse and Duncan finally has a Kickstarter. Like, you know, they finally had a spark. He literally saved her from burning. Like, that is kind of romantic and admirable. And I don't know. It's, it's really sweet. And I think it's a great way to kind of start off our relationship right you guys like what could be more dashing than a guy that saves you from a fire like yeah a guy that saves you from burning to death singed covered head to toe in suit to better wash the stuff off like i i mean i would be more traumatized if i was her i would be like i'm so grateful that i survived or something like that fires out from 
fire being extinguished. Thank goodness the fire is over. Could it have been any worse? Uh, hungry. Okay. And then what's this? Where are the party at? Okay. So she wants a lot of things to happen for sure. Uh, but you know what, you guys? I think this part has been long enough. It's also been exciting enough as well. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. Okay, guys? Once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.